Hey guys, Sushika Waza here. Welcome back to another Thursday stream where, yes, super pumped today because, yes, finally the new five star batch came out. We've been waiting for this for absolute months. And all people are thinking, yeah, we're going to come in and Waza's going to do a crystal opening video. No, we're not. We're literally going to do that on Monday, guys. So listen, I've said on Monday we're going to do all our crystal opening, anything like that on Monday. So if you want to see me open my five star crystal, see what I get, and have a bit of a competition, join me on Monday. But today we are covering the new five star botch, botch, batch, uh, having a look at them, giving my thoughts. And uh, we're also going to be uh, looking at the new bot Slingshot and Acid Storm as well. So, lots to talk about. Obviously, the Space Ape stream as well uh, was on earlier today. So, if you're not checking that out, I suggest you go and check that out as well, guys. But we're we'll covering most of it sort of today as well and sort of the information we got from that and what it means in terms of the game over the next four and six months and where the game's sort of going. So, uh going to be... Uh, information pack stream today guys so yeah but as always guys listen if you've got any questions uh stick it in the chat i'll try and uh, answer any questions that i can as always and uh, as always yeah just uh, an informative uh good honest stream so first of all i need to apologize for monday uh we didn't stream on monday simply because i got corona over the weekend so i did put a post on socials uh, and apologize and posted a new video as well so uh not too bad feeling a lot better uh i was a write-off you know normally if you got a weekend off it's been scorching hot over here this week just few days absolutely boiling hot you'd think we'd be you know enjoying that weather but i was a write-off i didn't pretty much leave my bed for two days um i think i was actually uh talking to grind time i think on friday night and uh i just said listen i'm gonna go to bed but I, I don't really feel too well um went to bed and just woke up absolutely shocking about i had about five hours sleep i'm just written off for two days basically and then uh, on monday felt a bit better i felt up to i felt up to streaming to honest with you but every time i tried talking to someone on the phone i was just coughing constantly and i just thought this is not a good way to stream every time i'm sort of talking i'm coughing so still got a bit of a cough and I'm, i can feel it coming on a bit now because i'm talking quite a bit uh but I, as you can see a lot better than what i was guys so yeah <laughs> <coughs> cool apologies but yeah um hope you all enjoyed the video that we posted um with Tex and the combiners uh, had a lot of people asking for that for quite a while um and we've got a few other things in the pipeline with Tex as well so uh that will be uh coming as well soon and we're trying to do another few videos and i've also had an idea for a new sort of series that should be a bit of fun so uh i've started the ball rolling with that i've got some people on board but i'm hoping to have about four of us in one stream which will be a a challenge in its own but uh you know if we can get them four people on together uh at the same time and do this then uh i think it'd be pretty fun i do everyone i spoke to recently already about it i said yeah it's a pretty cool idea was it so uh i'm hoping that uh we can uh get that sorted uh but as always i've just got to load something up and i just need to then i'm going to say my hellos because it's something that i should have loaded up and i haven't and hopefully it's saved if not we're gonna struggle a bit cool let's just see who we've got in the chat so yeah i did start the chat off a bit uh sooner than normal just sort of like i, I usually advertise the uh the video on facebook and online and discord and stuff and it's a bit of a mad rush to honestly to advertise it in the the 10 15 minutes before the stream starts and pull it all up so i thought you know what i'm just gonna say to people listen if you want to see the stream guys just subscribe that's the best way. Listen, if you want to share it in your chats, you can do. That's fine. Uh, but if you want to see it, then just subscribe, guys. That's the best way. Um, but, uh, yeah, I thought I'd start off earlier so people can sort of see that I'm live and people can sort of tune in. And uh, that's the idea. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, let's go into the newsletter. Okay, bar week, grind our week, ninny bong, week four. Oh, I've not even said hellos. I'm gone. I'm gone a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm rushing ahead because I'm just trying to do something. I've got loads of things on today, and 
I'm rushing ahead and I missed something. But yeah, sorry, sorry. Uh, but grind time. Obviously, my brother grind time in the chat first. Uh, Clohossi as well. Uh, that one, Squishy. I think you're quite new to the uh, stream, but uh, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm Penny Lancaster. Is that the first five people? Grand Time, Glahose, that one squishy, Penny Lancaster, and Mitchell VF1J. Hit me up in Discord, guys, and we'll get you a Sunstreaker was a stash crystal just to be in the first five guys in the chat today. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, and then we've got myself in there. Uh, we've got uh, MD Prime, William Chowdhury, uh, Stay Puffed. And don't forget, if you are a Platinum member as well, we'll be doing a giveaway a $30 gift card, which will help you level your five stars this weekend, hopefully, help you with the event. We'll be giving away that live at the end of this stream, guys. So if you are a Platinum member, stay tuned for that, and we'll be giving it away at the end. Um, Alpha Try on 1, Freezius Max as well, Jason Rowley, how's it going, bud? Uh, Calvin, Matt Poli, Rowley Poli's in the house. Uh, who else have we got? Uh, I've been sort of jumping in and out of the chat. I've been sort of listening to what you guys have been saying. Uh, William Wilkinson. We've got Luke. Uh, Kill Cannon. Uh, Earn Chill. Uh, Ricky Lau. How's it going, bud? Seti83. Uh, Autobot Phil. How's it going, bud? Welcome back. Um, and then the chat just skips ahead as always. Uh, we've got James Ritchie. How's it going, bud? Uh, asking, what do you think of the community and support team? Hmm. Uh, I quite I like Dale a lot. Dale's very good. Uh, and you know I I like Astra and uh, I like I, I've not met Daisy. I've not really spoke to her that much, but we spoke a bit today. And I like Daisy. Uh, she came across well in the stream as well. So I do like the support guys. Uh, but yeah, we'll leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richard Trinder as well. How's it going? Warp FSB, uh, Berserk, and Air Health. And I think that is everyone. So, yeah, thanks for joining us. So, as we went back to the uh, newsletter. So, yes, this week's event is Heavy Rain. So, love, love this uh, thumbnail, if you want to call it that. Uh, but, yeah, super pleased, these two bots. I, I love G1 bots. And... You know, the way the game is going away from G1 bots, they've got G2 skins now and they're doing robots in disguise and they're doing this and whatever else. You know, that's not what gets me going. You know, G1 bots is what gets me going. I, I love my G1 bots and, uh, you know, that's what I want to see. So, uh, yeah, super pumped. You know, the rumours around when he came out is superior on getting slingshot. But it was it was so hard to do, wasn't it? Let's be honest. They're not going to say to everyone, right, everyone who's got Superion, if you've got Alpha Bravo, it, we're taking him out. Your four-star Superion is now a three-star, and you've got to go and chase slingshot. Imagine if that happened. Imagine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be a, a, you know, a fly on the wall in the space headquarters when that was put out. So I kind of get. Uh, but I think personally, I think the problem was is that there's not a lot of flying Autobots. So I think they thought, we need to bring out some more Decepticons. Who are we missing? Listen, we're missing some easy ones, guys. We're missing Acid Storm. We're missing Sunstorm. You know, there's they're some easy ones that we're missing. How, let's put Acid Storm in the game. Let's focus on Decepticons for a bit. Who can we get their Autobot counterpart? Who can we get? Slingshot was an easy choice, wasn't it? You know, both G1 bots. It's a good choice for Space Ape. You know, we focus too much on Autobots sometimes that we need to look at Decepticons, you know, and getting these Decepticons that we haven't got in the game. And then thinking backwards of, right, what Autobots fit that? Because there's loads of Autobots. There's so many Autobots, it's ridiculous. So I'm glad that Space Ape look at Decepticons a bit more because a lot less Decepticons than there is Autobots. Look at Decepticons and go, right, okay, Let's work backwards. So, yeah, super pleased about, uh, you know, Acid Storm coming to the game. Um, but this week's event, if you don't know where you've been, but it's 150 Heavy Rain Crystal. So it's a chance event. Uh, they have changed it a bit. They took the five-star shards out of the chance crystals. But before you start, obviously, ranting and raving, that's a good thing, guys. So they've put the shards instead into the event. Which means because they took the five star shards out of those crystals, it gives you an increased chance. So now it's instead of 25% five star shards, 25% four star, 25 three star, and 25 of an acid rain or a slingshot, it's now 30% four star, 30% three star, 30% acid rain. So although the drop rate is still the same, 
you've got more chance to get more crystals. So super pleased with this event. Uh, so rather than what? 37 crystals you now get 50 crystals on average so really good uh you've got 150 total spark crystals so that's crazy good 150 premium combat chips again crazy crazy good and 150 upgraded power core chips each containing uh silver gold or g metals uh with a 50 50 chance of a just a normal g metal or a g1 core um We'll come back to that in a minute. So, yes, yeah, so a one and a half million point event. So, huge event. Uh, which, you know, we get these every now and again. And we yeah, sort of get that. Uh, but, yeah, very small sort of tier prizes. Up to 10k per prestige. Uh, obviously, total sparks. Get the uh, spark. Combine the spark and combat spark. Uh, the power core chips. I'm not too keen on still. To be honest with you. A 3% chance at a G metal. You know, and I get they can't give them away. I kind of understand that. But a 3% of a G metal, you get 150, which means you should get about 4 or 5 G metals on average. But then you got, that's just a G metal. It could be any G1 core. It could be, uh, you know, any attack core, any defense core. You know, there's like 100 cores to choose from. So you get 5 out of them 100. Let's be honest, everyone here is getting dust up. Let's be honest, everyone here is getting dust up and getting a death pulse. That's pretty much standard. Let's be honest, that's pretty much given. So, yeah. Oh, and apologies, I thought it was 30% of each, but it's 25% of each. So, premium shards are in there. Mm -hmm. uh, so, not the best, but at least it's not 20%, it's 25%. So, it's increased from 20 to 25 but at least an increased chance still, like we said. So, yeah, pretty good event. Pretty pumped about it. Uh, should be uh, good. So, game updates and information. So, they are starting a tournament. And I'm a bit on the fence with this, to be honest with you. And this sort of delves a lot deeper into something a bit, a lot bigger. Uh, I, I weren't really going to talk about it today. I was going to wait till Monday. But, hey, we've already started. I don't want to put a bit of downer on the stream. Uh, but after this weekend, I'm quitting top level wars basically um i'm going to drop out of sai and find somewhere a bit quieter and the reason for that is that the game doesn't excite me as much anymore and i think this hit home a lot over the weekend so because i've been off sick from work uh i've had a lot of time on my hands so um jacob is playing a lot of fifa he plays a lot of football we know this so he's been playing a lot of fifa so he's like oh dad can you help me with this and can you play this so i've been playing a bit on his account i've been playing a bit on my account but i don't really play that much and i was playing a match and i was losing i was losing four three and the guy was showboating the guy was time wasting but anyway so i ended up winning five three but I was jumping around my chair. I was like, yes, this is amazing. Yes, that amazing is in your face and things like that. And then all of a sudden, it sort of a wave came over me and was like, I've not felt like this for quite a while about Transformers. And I was like, that's not good. That's not good. And the kind of reason for that is that there's very little for me to be excited about. The new five-star batch comes out. And I look at it and think, there's not much in there I really need. You know, my, my five-stars are... My team's pretty much set. It does well. It can pretty much 300 primarily most times at the top level of the game. So I don't really need anything. I don't really need any course from my base. I don't really need any course from my bots. Um, I don't really need spark. I don't really need combiner spark. I don't need combat spark. So what am I warring for? What am I playing the game for? To to get what? More resources? Of what resources I don't really need already? And people can go like, of course you always need spark. You can level up four star bots. But... That's not what I use four stars for. I use four stars to get me through events that are free to play. But five stars, I'm at where I think is. But all my five stars are either 10 or 11. The ones that I use the most. And even the ones that I don't use are pretty much level 10. And the only reason they're not 11 is because I don't want to waste the Zen. And when I pull these new bots, I think there's only Minerva that'll get my war team. But then there's no rush for that because HUAT is six months away. Or four or five months away from what they've said today. It's going to be autumn. So I always thought HQ18 was on the cusp. It's always coming soon. And now it's been put back to autumn. And, you know, there's, there's, there's not much. There's not much for me to fight for. 
So I'm going to take a break from these top level wars and from top events and things like that. Take a backward step. And the idea is to drop to a lower alliance and go back into sort of training again and helping people and giving advice more rather than, you know, because it sort of hit home as well that, I, again, I don't want to sort of bash sort of, uh, you know, uh, psyops because I love psyops completely. But, uh, you know, it's just, you're in that sort of chat and those guys, I don't know, they just don't seem that hungry to learn about some things. We're talking about Magnaboss and a conversation sort of started off on, is he any good? And I was like, where have, where have you been? This guy's amazing, Magnaboss. I just feel like, you know, I don't know. I feel a bit disillusioned right now. And I think a break's good sometimes. And I just want to take a break from the, the game at high levels. I don't, I'm not going to take a break from streaming. Streaming's still going to continue, guys. Don't worry about that. I should have said that straight away, should I? Uh, we're still going to be streaming and things like that. But not at a top level, you know. Um, but, yeah. But, you know, I just don't, I don't like the direction that, that Space Ape are going most of the time. I don't really agree with it being not in playtest anymore you know i put a lot into playtest put heart and soul into that and then i think that me sort of getting kicked out of it and i've sort of come back into it a bit but it, it still frustrates me it still frustrates me just go into that chat and i have them chats really just to be just to see what's happening so i can give like, an honest opinion on bots but i find myself getting dragged back into it because i don't like the way the apes are doing things or i don't agree with things and i want to put my opinion across but i'm like but then they don't really listen half the time anyway. So I'm like, what's the point? And I just feel like I've hit a brick wall. I just feel like in terms of wars, I've hit a brick wall. In terms of new content, I've hit a brick wall. In terms of play test and trying to improve the game, I've hit a brick wall. And, you know, I've sort of give everything I sort of can. Uh, I just think that, you know, take a step back and just, uh, you know, relax for a bit. And then come HU18, we'll, we'll see where we're at. But, yeah, anyway, rant over. Uh, but yeah, um, so yes, the new five star batch has been announced, which we'll be covering later. I'll give you my, my ideas on it. Uh, the new bot slingshot and acid storm, we will give our opinions as well, as always, but looking very, very cool. Uh, thanks, Tex, for doing these uh, little snippets that he puts in his uh, training charts. If not in them training charts, I recommend you go and check them out, guys. They're pretty cool, especially if you want, like, screenshots of information on certain bots. Um, and go and check out the wiki, guys. The wiki, guys, the wiki has been improved a lot. We'll be looking at something later on. Um, but, yeah. Uh, the new batch, if you don't know already, uh, it's available in-game right now, but it's uh, SG Jetfire and Thundercracker. It's uh, Minerva and Flatline. It's Dinobot and Dinobot 2. Uh, don't know why they put it as they have. Uh, Strafe and Thrust. And obviously, community's choice was 6-1 and Trigger Happy. My choice was Hound uh, in second place. And we'll talk about why it was Hound and why it wasn't. Six gun shortly. Uh, so the content creators have got myself, and you've also got soldiers. Uh, I like this uh, little thing he's done, it's pretty cool, very professional. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, community corner, as always, some cool drawings and stuff. We don't like um, bay farmers though. Uh, and it's week four out of four, and bug fixes and improvements. So Nemesis Prime, um, couldn't be leveled past level 20 as a three star. That's been fixed uh dispatch missions they said they've increased the energy on things like that. i haven't noticed anything today when i was playing uh maybe it was before the update but uh hopefully that's the case and increases xp and things like that um fire damage at tier 10 defense perks will be renamed fire and acid damage resistance uh, we'll explain that shortly um we've added colors of remote descriptions that's really good I like, i'll go through that again when we go into the game um and yes they've gone through this on the wiki and sort of highlighted things and it's a uh, the wiki is still a work in progress there's still some things missing that i've noticed but uh, yeah pretty uh cool is there any uh questions in the chat i've just got something to do um while we're uh while you keep yourself entertained. <laughs> It'll take me two minutes. I basically, I set something up and then uh, something disappeared from it. So I just need to add these back on again. But if you've got any questions in the meantime, guys, put it in the chat and I will do my best to answer it and then we'll get into the new bots. Uh, but I just need to do a stay quick. Let's have a look. Oh, wrong one. That's a good start. So any questions? Yes, no bay farmers, obviously. 
like Paul, was this a, into, made this into a pledge video. You need a nose corn buff. But that's 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 one of the things that sort of frustrates me. It's one of the things. Is the spaceship schedule in it is pretty awful, to say the least. And a good point, a, a really good point, is um, nose cone and drill horn. You know, they've been saying for the bot came out what nearly two years ago, was it? Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was nearly two years ago. So the bot came out nearly two years ago. It's been a running joke in the game for the last what? Last year that is the most awful bot in Earth Wars. And even they know this. And they've said, yeah, we're, we're going to look at a fix. Fair enough, no problem. And they've been saying this for the last year. And you've got to ask, why haven't they done this already? And it's just lack of time. And this, they assure us that it's not a lack of time. But it's a lack of resources, is it? But then, surely, they have the insight to look at things and go, right, listen, guys. We've got Ability 11. We've got G1 cores. We've got new bots. We've got new combats. We've got all these things. We're going to need some help. And Dale said, yeah, we've got some help coming in. And six months ago, I said, yeah, we've got the help on board. But we're not really seeing much still. There's still bugs and all that. And again, so in the stream today, Yanis was talking about not making old content that good again. Uh, and I, I kind of get what he's saying with that, that it, once the older content is made relevant, then in every war bot, every, every bot is war worthy. There'll, there'll always be a bot that's not good enough. And I, I kind of get that. But there's some bots that aren't even war worthy, aren't even zone 14 worthy. Every bot for me should be able to go into a team and go into zone 14 and, and do a job. But the likes of dust up. The likes of Power Glide, the likes of Lightspeed, these sort of bots that no one's using. No one. And I spoke to Dale about, and I spoke to a couple of friends about Clash Royale, where they publish the usage rates. They publish open and they're saying, listen, these are the cards, or in our case, bots, that everyone is using. This is the thing. Yeah. And then you could look at that and go, like, oh, right. A lot of, like, I might say, listen, Beast Wars. Uh, Megatron uh, and uh, you know Monkey Prime are awful, absolutely awful. No one was using them, but then you can go. Well, actually, the R was a because if you look here, ten percent of War League players in Prime League are using this bot. Oh, maybe I've missed something. You know, it makes you think again. Maybe you start second guess it a bit. Um, but they publish these rates, and I like that idea. Uh, and I think Space should look at doing that. Publish the usage rates and look into it a bit more, and that that determines if a bot's good enough or not. Not just in events, not just in wars, I mean, but in events even as well. How many people are using power glide in events? You know, I'm not. I've got my level 51, but I am using grapple in a team. You know, there are bots at level 51 that I am using in a team because they're good. I am using my blades at level 53 or whatever it, whatever it is. But, you know, it's low level because it can still do a job in zone 14. It's not going to solo zone 14 anytime soon, but it can do a job. And every bot should be like that. But there are bots that have been left to rust. Been awful. Um, but yeah. And Victor Starship has put a good point. You know, if they're useless, what's the point in having them? You know. Silver Bolt's put Nose Cone, Otis Maximus. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, exactly. There are something. The old warriors, yes, like Slug. And we know these bots, guys. We know. It's sort of these bots as well. You know, like. You know, even like Drift. We know Drift is awful. No one's using Drift in Prime League War. This is a five-star bot. You know, there are certain bots that everyone can say, yeah, that's pretty awful, that bot. You know, and they're the bots we need to look at. We don't need to look at the likes of Cheeto and Perceptor and Goldfire because they can do a job in Zone 14. And they are still good bots. You know, they're not as good as used to be. They're not like the best bots in the game, maybe. You know, they're no Warpath or Blaster, maybe. You know, but they have their uses. There are some, they are still got a use. Even Prowl, I wouldn't rate Prowl as a high level uh, bot. But he has his uses. He does. Um, and I've got one more. I'm trying to think who's left in the batch that I've not put in. 
oh yeah six gun he's put six gun in this as well uh i'll just do a comparison so uh i've actually uh you might have seen in the newsletter that i posted a video rating all the five star batches and i didn't know that the uh, new batch was coming out this weekend i just posted that uh, i had it ready ready made for posting maybe next week and then seeing that the new five star batch come out i was like well that video needs updating but i thought you know no what i'm gonna do is rather than update the video i'm just gonna sort of go over it a bit today and then put these into there as well so I'll keep i don't always go over it all again but you know i can put these uh new bots in and we can uh you know um we can sort of see where this uh batch you know fits in with the rest of them and how good it is um and i can't remember yeah that's it yeah yeah, yeah. i'm so bad with like how uh Decepticon alternates for Autobots. Like I just literally forgot who Six Guns um Decepticon counterpart is. Sorry guys, one minute guys, and then we will uh get into uh looking at slingshot. I just need to set this up. Apologies. I've had an absolute nightmare with my PC recently as well, so that's not helped. Just just seems like everything is coming at once uh the last few days. Corona, my PC playing up. Uh, this new um, thing that happened today in Discord with uh, people's um, accounts uh, where they don't support blue stacks anymore. Obviously, you've got to have blue stacks if you want to stream. So me and Grant have had absolute nightmares today trying to get in our accounts and our PCs. Uh, so yeah, you know we've had a bit of a nightmare today. Okay, cool. That is set up. Okay, that is set up. We're good to go. Let's have a look at Slingshot. Okay, Slingshot and Acid Star. So we'll check them out in the um, in the showroom first. I am absolutely sweating tonight. It is absolutely boiling over in the UK. Uh, and Acid Star. I'm just going to open this back door because I'm absolutely sweating. We've had a heat wave over in the UK. It's been crazy, crazy good and weather. Not that I've enjoyed it much, but hey. Um, yeah, I can see people going, it's trigger happy. Yeah, I know now. But yeah, <laughs> it took me a while. <laughs> it's hard to think and talk at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, very, very cool. I, I don't mind this Cybertron um, version, to be honest with you. I quite like it. It's still G1. But, uh, yeah, I'd still like to see the uh, original Acid Storm as well as a jet. But, yeah, very, very cool. Very impressed with Acid Storm. Very cool. Uh, and then we've got uh, Slingshot as well. Uh, four stars. And we've got Slingshot. Again, very cool. I had this guy as a toy as a kid. Uh, this guy in Skydive, as I mentioned in my previous stream. Uh, so, yeah, really, really cool really cool so ability wise so we've got our uh, slingshot at 65 10. so his ability is raise an acid storm in an area that blocks healing and increase the fire and acid ability damage received by 20 percent for 15 seconds you then take off and set the target on fire dealing approximately 4284 in fire damage so there we go so a lot around acid and fire which they've been talking a lot about recently um and they talked in the stream today about combos and i can see where this is going i can see them having a lot of utility bots where you need to use a utility bot and use another bot as well and that's where i can see it going and that probably means a big hp hike for hq 18 that's where I think it will go. But I think we'll see a lot more bots like this where you get an extra 20% of X damage if you use this bot with, you know, a, a, use a lot more cheap ability bots as well. They mentioned in the stream, Yanni said a lot of bots like smoke screen, where it's just a repeat cost um, of a low cost, something like that. Uh, I like that idea. We're, we're running out of ideas a bit now. And this is a very fresh idea. And that's why I, I like this idea a lot. And the big question, obviously, is how it what sort of works in the game. So when I sort of read this, I was like, yeah, it's interesting. But acid, fire, oh, it's not the best. The big one for me was blocking healing. And I first thought of 
the MDS because people have put the MDS uh, with repair cores and it has got super super difficult to then sort of take these guys these uh, like these MDS out they become almost impossible because you use C spray and uh, within five seconds the MDS is at full health again with these regen cores especially with the healing in Piranha League as well so it can get a bit you know a bit crazy so it's a uh, gonna be interesting because I opened back door now I've got a moth in my house so if you see me uh, just randomly doing a ninja then you know I'm just sort of trying to get the moth <laughs> Uh, in terms of slingshot, uh, it can equip the normal uh, combat, so uh, I'd advise the likes of uh, Flak, uh, Top Shot maybe, Spoil Sport, uh, Trench Foot even. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just, it just flew in the back of my head. Go away. <laughs> it just flew into the back of my head and went nearly down my neck. Absolute pest. <laughs> yeah, I had a fit then. I don't like killing animals, but I'm I'm gonna kill that suck if it comes near me. I really am, and it's pretty big as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wish you could see it on stream. Honestly, like it just flew up me. Anyway, uh, but yeah, some interesting uh combats. I think I have to close this door. I don't want more of these suckers flying in. There we go. The way it's gone now, but hey. <laughs> Michael Cooper, Insecticons attack. I love that. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Okay, cool. Well, let's see what they do in the game. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, he's going to hide in somewhere now. He knows I'm onto him. He knows. He's, he's, he knows that I'm onto him. <laughs> okay, let's put a bit of music on. If you can hear that music, uh, let me know. I don't think you can, can you? There we go. There we go. Just need to um, put this up a bit, I think. There we go. That should be a good volume, I think. Cool. Okay, so let's just take Slingshot into normal or into battle and we'll show it off on its own. So, obviously it is a support bot, so it's not designed to do a lot of damage. Grand <coughs> time. Almost every bot can store zone 14 if you clear out in Magnaboss first. Chris Hammer said HQ18 will change the bots. Maybe, maybe. Okay, so slingshot. No. So you see there, ability cost is 3 plus 2, so super cheap. So you see the acid comes down there, the fire comes down, and does quite a bit of damage. It's not going to take out an MDS, but you know, it does a good amount of damage. You can see there, there's uh, no healing, even though it's got a healing core. Apologies for the, uh, the emblems, a bit off. But you can see there, now it's healing back again. Trying to get another ability off. You can see there, the fire damage, there's the acid ability. So, two abilities will take out an MDS, but, you know, that's eight ability points per MDS. Then it comes seven plus nine, it's 16. So, it's, uh, you know, it uh, gets quite expensive. He's not a bot to be using his own. He's not really going to do much apart from low levels. You could probably uh, level him. You know, to a good level, and maybe in zone 12, maybe solo. But he's not really designed for that. He's designed to combo. So, straight away when we look at his ability, straight away we've got to think, right, so who are we going to combo him with? Got past him. So, acid and fire. So, straight away you're thinking, oof, what's a good acid bot? There's not many. Is there a good acid bot? Is there? I don't know. There's a good, some good fire bots. You've got six gun. You know, does that fire damage? You've got swoop even. You know, there are some good fire damage bots out there. But in terms of acid, 
There's not many. And you got to think, well, why is that? And the reason is because it's damage over time. That's why no one likes these sort of acid bots and why they're rated so, so low. So, I've been doing a bit of testing with a few bots. And when I, when I first got this bot and I tried him out, I was like, yeah, he's, he's all right. He's not bad. I like the idea, but it's not really going to work. So, we tried him with a few bots. So, we've got Storm Clash. So, yeah. Yeah, it's great with Storm Clash because it makes Storm Clash one shot in Prime League. Wow. That's pretty good. Even with a repair core, Storm Clash as a four star will one shot in Prime League. But when you put Storm Clash and add the three ability points, it gets a bit expensive again to take them both out. And then you think, well, I can use Skydive, but even he's even more expensive. Tried Scatter Shot. And, you know, scatter shot isn't the best, let's be honest. But then, I thought, I'll try it with Sunstreaker with the fire damage of Sunstreaker. One shall stand, one so. Let's just put these three bots down a minute. Now, reap the world. Then we're going to put Slingshot on there. We're going to put Sunstreaker right in the middle. And there we go. MDS down. MDS down. And you might think, yeah, that's pretty impressive. But then, what you've got to realise is that wasn't a five-star Sunstreaker. That was a four-star Sunstreaker on Prime League Hard where they have 30% more HP one-shotting two MDS. And he's not even at ability 11 either. This is a 65-10 four-star Sunstreaker one shot in Prime League. Wow. Wow. That is immense. That is absolutely immense. Crazy. And then we did some more further testing. I thought, right, okay, well, you know, there's plenty of fire damage, but I can see someone's put Rust Dust in there. Yeah, Rust Dust will do amazing. We can test Rust Dust out in a minute. And, uh, you know, these fire damage bots will do well. There's plenty of fire damage bots. But there's not many acid bots. I was like, right, who's an acid bot that I can use? Let's think of a good acid bot. I was like, well, damn, that double deal is not a good acid bot. He's not good. But he's got acid and fire. He's got both. And this is Prime League hard, guys. This is a four star maxed out. Double dealer, probably the worst uh, triple changer in the game in Prime League hard. And Joshua, he just put, yeah, well, Skywarp one shots on his own, not in Prime League with a repair core. Nothing can one shot other than maybe six gun. A MDS in hard mode with a repair core. Nothing is one shot, in, and we can sort of prove that in a minute. Now, reap the whirlwind. So then we use double dealer, and we've done the wrong one. Brilliant. <laughs> That's not going to work. Bat fingered. Joshua Ease has put, no, probably definitely not in Prime League. I need to stress that again. Not in Prime League hard. He is not one-shotting in Prime League hard. We'll test it out. But damage over time against the MDS with a repair core does not work. The difference about Slingshot is, not the Acid, not the Burn, it blocks healing. That is the big part of this ability that we've not seen in the game before. We've not seen this at all. Nothing blocks healing. And this, for me, is immense. 
absolutely immense. It's huge. Just put him down first, a minute, and then let's put him down behind. Make sure he can reach, and then go. We've got to be quick, though. There he is, there's one MDS down. Gotta be quick though. Ah, not quite. But it does. <laughs> it does, guys. I've been testing it, trust me. Uh, Aeros asked, what's the thing? We're gonna test Minette in a. Outpost as well. I'll be honest with you, I haven't tested an outpost. If it works, we'll talk about that as well. Uh, Michael Cooper support. What about Beef Wars Prowl for Acid? Well, that's the. F it does fire damage, not acid damage. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of good fire damage bots. A lot of good fire damage bots. Um, but yeah, this guy is ridiculously bad. Really, really poor because he's got acid and fire together. It works so well. I mean, I didn't have a Margamus on. That's probably why it didn't work. I think I one shot it just, just, just about without a Um But with it, he can definitely one shot. And I want to get this right, just to prove it does work. And then we'll, I'll show you what happens without. We'll show you without slingshot. We'll show you whatever you want, whatever bot you think will one shot it. We'll try skydive. We will try uh, six gun even. Uh, we'll try rust us. What happens against these MDS? And you'll get an idea on how hard they are to take out. We'll even try sea spray. We'll even try whatever, guys. Now, reap the whirlwind. <laughs> it does work, guys. <laughs> Trust me, it does work. I love how I've tested this like for like three hours afternoon, testing all these things, and then we come in stream and it's like, nope, nope. <laughs> but listen, absolutely, if you can get bring out a bot that makes double dealer a prime league bot, then fair play, fair play. So, we've got Skydiving here, we've got Sunstreaker, um, what else? What else can we use? We've got Sea Spray, the mighty Sea Spray. So we can take it off Sunstreaker. Put it on Sea Spray. And I think uh, someone said five star jet fire as well. We'll try five star jet fire. So where is jet fire? There's jet fire maxed out with his chrome jet fire core at 11. Ignore that. But yeah, here we go. Prime League, hard. We'll try rust us in a minute as well. But I just want to prove a point that these bots can't one shot these MDS. So, to give you an idea why, Prime League effects, 20% uh, health and damage for our defences, so 20% health, 30% health, and defences heal for 30% of damage dealt as well. So, they get in range, then you got no chance, but an MDS now has 8,710 health and repairs itself for 3.7%. So, Jetfire... There we go. Doesn't one shot. Skydive. You can see there, it's just self healing again. And because it's damage over time for skydive, it does damage. But that self heal just keeps healing. And it stops. Can't one shot, guys. Cannot one shot. Sea spray. 
the most powerful bot in the game. He might be able to actually, because there's no electric core. Might be able to. Add electric core, he ain't. So where's the electric core? So let's just check like these a minute. Where's the electric core? It's so hard with these, uh, so hang on. Ah, there's a lightning core there a minute. Hang on a minute. So where's the lightning core? I've got a lightning core up here, I think, somewhere. Yeah, it's there. Let's just move that a minute. Right, so let's do that. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, and thank you, Grind Time, for uh, the tip. Appreciated. <laughs> I think he just loves Sea Spray. I think every time I mention Sea Spray, he just tips. So they go Sea Spray, 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 Sea Yeah, thanks, Grind Time. Appreciate it, bud. But go check out Grind Time's channel as well, guys. I probably just said it earlier, so yeah, apologies. Go and check out Grind Time's channel. Uh, I did try with Goldfire. It didn't really work that well. So, Sea Spray even. This is probably the strongest bot in the game right now. Sea Spray. To give you an idea. So, it does the damage. And you can see there, look. Because damage over time, look. It just self-heals again. I know he got dead. It's full health again. This is the problem that any damage over time, nothing can one shot it in terms of jets. Nothing that does damage over time can kill that MDS. Nothing at all. But Skylink, well, we can, I don't want to go through Skylink's. I think will. I don't want to. I, this is sort of going off sort of a tangent a bit, really, um, on what can kill the MDS and what can't. I think Skylinks can, but Skylinks has his own problems. But the point I'm making is, is like Slingshot makes them one shot. Slingshot makes them better. For three ability points, it makes the case. Uh, Jason Rowley's put um, Star Saber, no. Uh, Star Saber doesn't do fire damage, he does electrical damage, so he won't um, do much. Lord Avix says Afterbreaker. Afterbreaker doesn't do enough damage to one shot an MDS. The Skylinks. And uh, nope. Because of the damage over time again, or oh, the fire might do it. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> you need a five star Skylinks to kill the MDS. And one of them was still half health. You get the idea. Even Skylinks can't take these out. That's how we. And that's not even under a shield gen. It gets. To, it just gets silly. It really does. These MDS are a nightmare in primary, guys. An absolute nightmare. So if a bot, you know, like Skylinks can't even do it. But then as soon as we add Slingshot into the mix, any bot pretty much can. Any bot. But someone said Rust Dust, so I want to do Rust Dust. I've got a decent one. I don't think I have got a five star Rust Dust. I think my four star is low level. Rust Dust is so low. Yeah, 55, 6. So we can maybe try it another time. But, you know, Rust Dust will do, what, 4.5k damage? So it won't one shot the MDS. But it will do its true damage. Not like in Primary, where it heals up again. So any damage over time with Slingshot will work very good. That's the point I'm making. And, you know, Calvin's put kind of one shot. Can I test slingshot with the shield gen next to it? Well, obviously, that just makes it a bit harder. Uh, you'd have to use a five star or take the uh, shield gen out first. Um, so you could use slingshot. We'll try that, actually. Um, where's the shield gen gone? I've moved it away, didn't I? I've moved it and I can't remember where to. There we go. So, how I would maybe do it. So let's charge that. Okay. So this is how I'd probably do it. <coughs> Andrew Stollins put Titans can one shot them. No, they can't. No, they can't. Not in primary card. No. <laughs> I love how people are coming in going like, Skydive can do it. No, it can. This bot can do it. No, it can. Titans can do it. No, it can. <laughs> Trust me. I've tried this, guys. 
nothing kills these in Prime League. Nothing. Apart from one bot, which we'll talk about in a bit. Okay. Slingshot, Sunstreaker. So what I would do is... Make sure I can get in range of this. So I will put Slingshot on the Shield Gen, maybe. See if that kills it. And I don't think it's going to do. Yeah. Not with the Shield Gen. With a Shield Gen with Skylinks, you might get away with it. Slingshot, then Skylinks. That would probably work. So honest with you, with the shield gen, you'd have to do three strikes though, not two. So, yeah. But you get the idea. Again, we could sit here all day and test every single bot. Try with this, try with that. But you get the idea, guys, that Slingshot makes all these irrelevant bots, because of the damage over time, Fire and Acid, that I've complained about for the last few weeks, make them really relevant. And, you know, I've got to take my hat off to space it with this. That I love Slingshot. I, I think it's probably the best bot in the last year? Has there been a better bot in the last year than Slingshot? I don't think there has. That's how far I would probably go. And I got so excited over this. Super pumped this afternoon. I was like, wow, I'm going to go into stream. And I'm going to be like, this bot is amazing, guys. Go and get it. And then something came to me that I remembered something. And it's this. Increase resistance of fire and damage by 5%. And that'll go up by, I presume, 5% every time. So, fire and acid bots that were getting this buff with uh, Slingshot, I, I kind of get nerfed with the tech tree. And it sort of made my heart sink. Because I was like, we finally got something to make these bots re relevant. And we're making them irrelevant. If you don't use slingshots, let's forget slingshot. If you use any fire bots or any acid, this is going to make them less relevant. And this includes Top Shot. This includes Negatronus, Snarl. A any cut sort of fire damage bot is getting nerfed in the tech tree soon. Electrical, and this is not cannons, guys. It shows a cannon, but it's not. Electrical damage as well. So Sea Spray, Bumblebee, these sort of bots are getting a nerf in the tech tree soon as well, even more so. And you see there it is 5%, so it's a 25% reduction in damage. And it kind of killed me a bit. I was pretty gutted, I'm not going to lie. I, I want to come in these streams and be positive about these things. I really do. And I was so pumped about Slingshot. And then this came to my mind, and I just sort of slumped. I was like, again, we were so close. We were so close to having an amazing four star in the game. I love the idea of combos. I love that he's cheap. I love that he adds a new element to the game where he blocks healing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And he's still useful because he blocks healing. Don't get me wrong. But it means that all these bots that you do combo him with, like Double Dealer, I get a. Why, why are we nerfing Acid? <laughs> no one uses Acid. No one in this game uses Acid. Take Acid out of that and put an Acid buff in. In the attack perks, put in Acid bots, get a 20% increase. Add that in. We want to increase these uses as Acid bots. And this is, the tech tree is a great example of how Space 8 could have done balance changes in a way. And I've gone, right, okay, you want Acid bots to be better? Go and get it. Here it is, it's in the tech tree. Go and get it. Go and work towards it. I'll work towards it. And this is where the tech tree should have been. It, it's what it should have been. And this is why I get so frustrated. Because it, they were so close to having something amazing. Something amazing. Honestly. And you've seen how I've, I've just said how good Slingshot is. And it was so, so close to being unbelievably good. It was, guys. Honestly, like. And that sort of kills me. It really does. You know, these Titan Defense perks... I like them, I do, but don't bring out a defense perk against something that, you know, isn't good in the game. No one uses acid, so don't add that in. Electrical damage, I kind of get that. You know, Bumblebee and Sea Spray are crazy, crazy good. Crazy powerful. So, I understand that. I own shot is crazy good, and there's other bots that are really good into the fire damage, like Swoop and stuff, so I kind of get that. But acid... Why nerf acid? 
Acid's nerfed itself. That should be a meme. Acid nerfs itself. It's crazy. But, uh, you know, and Michael Cooper's got a great point that, you know, cons have more acid than bots do even. And that makes it twice as bad. That the cons are going to make it even worse than bots are. You know, it's a really poor choice. And it just, for me, it just lacks a lot of insight into how the game really works. And I don't think they really, really know the game that well. You know, but again, it's down to usage rates. Why have they not gone in and gone... Usage rates, blah, blah. Yeah, no one's using these acid bots. Let's give them a buff in the tech tree. Not a nerf. So, yeah. And Jason Kenyon's put acid basically fire a different colour. Yeah, but it's obviously classified different in the game. And I think they'll build upon that. But it's very hard when you make it a 25%, 25%, 25% reduction in acid and fire. It's hard to make it more relevant when you're nerfing it in a way. Not nerfing it, but you get what I mean. And it's frustrating. It is, guys, because this bot is so good. So good. And Slingshot isn't getting nerfed by this, really. I mean, the acid is a bit, but it's more... And the blocking, you know, healing is still great. But people are going to start using it with one-shots still. They're not going to use it with AoEs like Sunstreak and stuff because they're going to get a 25% reduction, a nerf, soon. You know? So, you know, it's still a very good bot. Don't get me wrong, but slightly tainted. That's the thing. Okay, that is Slingshot and Acid Storm done. So let's go on to the new five-star batch. So what do you guys think? Put in the chat what you guys think of the new five-star batch. And we've got Slingshot in there. We can take him out. We don't need Slingshot in there anymore. And this is the new five-star batch in all its glory. So we have... <coughs> Dinobot and Dinobot 2, uh, Strafe and Thrust, uh, Six Gun and Trigger Happy, SG Jetfire and SG Thundercracker, <coughs> and Minerva and Flatline. So Penny Lancaster's pot is an okay batch, Calvin's pot is a great batch, um, Andrew Stoner's pot is the war worthy, it's war worthy for a new 5 star batch. MD Prime's put not wasting my shards on this batch. Joshua Eve's lame. SG, CC, and Jetfire are jokes. Silverbox put is alright. So, a lot of um, difference in opinions in this batch. And I kind of get that. And we were talking in playtest about these bots. And it was apparent that we all had different ideas on what was good and what was not. You know, and, you know, I do these rating videos with text, and I do it with text because I want to get someone else's opinion, not just mine. Just see if he agrees with what I'm saying, and most of the time he does. And I talk to Grind Time, and most of the time he sort of agrees. I mean, we disagree sometimes. He likes pipes. I don't. Tex likes uh, certain bots and that not you know, don't like healers for a start. We know that. But I love my healers. So we've all got slightly different ideas, but we've all got generally the same idea. You know, but I think there's a couple of misconceptions that we need to sort of put to rest, really, and maybe and, and investigate. So, Dinobot. So, Dinobot is unchanged. He is as he is. So, the stats as a maxed uh, five star is 36,900 health, which is crazy health, but then only 351 damage. So, if you want a solid tank, this is your. This is a good bot to get. You know. Um, and at level 10, you place three decoys that have 33% of your health. So, I'd like to say like Rook, but it's not. I'd like to maybe say a bit like Blaster, but it's not. And we'll talk about that recently. We haven't given ability 10 yet, but uh, 11, sorry. But ability 11, uh, decoys move and attack 25% attack faster. So, definitely worth doing. So, we'll upgrade that now. In terms of cores, because he has extra healing uh, when he attacks uh, any sort of healing core so alchemist my cronus maybe um, a rejuvenate anything like that uh, will work really well on dinobot in terms of uh, combat wise uh, anything that sort of keeps him alive and stripes maybe something like that uh, or something giving more dps so like czar or sg uh, steel jar even wind strike maybe something gives him extra uh, dps or extra healing so most of the combats will fit well with him Next up is Strafe. 
Uh, so strafe, uh, go berserk uh, on defenses. So he only targets defenses. People might forget that, um, and inflict fifty percent back to the attackers. Ability eleven is every three seconds you smite a foe, dealing one and a half times box DPS. So you're talking about a thousand per hit. Oh, I need some zen energy. <coughs> uh, sick gum. So, 6 gun, 15k health, 625 DPS, so pretty decent. Uh, and he has an infrared homing missiles, which we'll take a look at in a minute. I'm sure we know his ability. Uh, but ability 11 is the area sets on fire uh, is 50% larger. Uh, and then obviously, we've got SG, Jetfire, and Minerva. So, SG, uh, Jetfire, um, 24,000 health and 800 DPS, which is crazy good. Um, and doesn't have ability 11 because it's quite new. Uh, and we know his sort of ability from testing. He fires three lasers. Uh, and then they have a tag called decoys that have 5% of the HP. They fly around and sort of taunt defenses so that SG Jetfire doesn't get hit as much. Uh, and then we've got Minerva. I think everyone knows that Minerva is absolutely unbelievable. Probably the best healer in the game. And probably the pick of the batch maybe for most people. So yeah. Jason Canyon, no, it wasn't a fifth rocket for six guns, uh, SA-11, no, sadly it wasn't. So, we'll uh, get some zen. Don't forget, this is the uh, test account, guys. You can't get three million zen for uh, for one energy on in the game. <laughs> just remember that. Um, but yeah, let's just upgrade these guys now to ability 11 and see how they go. Uh, try again. Nope, wrong one. And then we want to do, uh, who's the wrong one to do? Uh, Dying the bot, is he 11? Yeah, who's the person that wants to get to 11? Oh my god, I forgot him. Oh, straight that's it, yeah. So, in terms of, um, let's go back to the actual main screen. I could do it from there, it's a lot easier. In terms of cores for these guys, Minerva. Uh, dead easy. You're obviously looking at some sort of... Because she has a passive where she heals herself, don't forget. Um, it, is, it is said somewhere. Um, yeah, Minerva restores 2.3% of her health every 5 seconds. She has an in-stored uh, rejuvenate. But any bot that sort of keeps her alive help. Because she has quite low health for a healer. So, only has 10k health, which is, um, you know, quite low. Uh, when you think of other bots like Small Screen, you know, he's got 11k health. I've always said he has real low health and it sort of worries me in wars. Uh, Wheeljack, same as sort of 10k health, uh, Ratchet slightly more. So that 1k health isn't huge, but it does help. You know, healers are very really squishy. So Minerva, in that sense, uh, still pretty good though, but to try and keep her alive. But uh, yeah, very, that healing tower is absolutely epic. Um, but yeah, even Rung will do well with uh, Minerva. SG Jetfire, dead simple, uh, an EO core. So we can take that off skydive now. And into the combats, any sort of ranged combat. Six gun, dead easy. It's got to be a uh, EO core. Dead easy there. Uh, volatile mixture, sorry, not a Yoko. He's not airbot. Sorry. Volatile mixture. And then for thrust. So this is where the interesting this is where I've lasted to last. All the rest are pretty much straightforward. So most people will say, put an EO core on thrust. Oh, strafe. But the problem is, if you do that, he dies pretty easily. So I wouldn't advise putting an enhanced ordnance. On him, I'd advise putting a Malgamus on him instead because it heals him and keeps him alive. Now, it is multiple air defenses in there, it's not gonna work because I tested this guy and, we'll, and I'll prove a point here now. In terms of combat, obviously, our range combat will help him a lot. Mitchell's pulled Minerva this morning. Absolutely amazing. A lot of hatred for SG Jetfire, but I'll explain something in a minute. <coughs> Jason Kenyon's put about 50% shield. 
Okay, so I started testing, um, and I'll prove a point here now just to prove this is true. I started testing Strafe because I'm not really using my four star like level 51. Don't really rate him, couldn't remember why. Couldn't really rate him, so I tested him and I thought, right, I want to test him against Laser Optimus. I use Laser Optimus to clear an area, but the good thing about Thrust or Strafe is that they clear an area but only target defenses. That's really good, right? So Test him out. Got one use off. Died. I was like, oh, I know. I've got I've got air defenses on. Obviously, because the current meta is that when defenses explode, they do um, extra damage in primary. You can see here that um, defenses deal five times their DPS damage on health. And once you put an anti-air core on, their DPS goes up ridiculously high, and they do the most damage. So everyone's using anti-air at the minute and their defenses. So I thought I'll move them to I'll take I'll take them off. I'll I'll move them out of the way. So move them out of the way. And I thought, yeah, there's only one there. Then he used strafe again. And it killed him. So I thought, right, I'm gonna take the air anti-air off. I'm gonna take the anti-air cores off so that they can't hit him. And they died again. I was like, what's he getting hit from? And it was the missile launchers. The missile launchers were here instead of the beam lasers. And they were hitting him. So I've had to use, I've had to move the missile launchers out of the way. So I've had to make sure there's no anti-air, no MDS plasma cannon, and no missile launchers. If they're not there, he stays alive. If they are there, he dies. And that's a lot. That's a lot to ask for. Especially in the current meta. You might say that in the next meta that the, people won't go with anti-air. Maybe, maybe not. But people will go with plasma cannon on their MDS, you know, in other iterations. People will, you know, have missile launchers close to the launch pad. Not all the time, but sometimes. So it's very situational. Very situational. But let's give him a go. But you've got to think as well, though. So you put in a Margam or something. And that increases his damage by, like, 15%. But an EO core does, like, 20%. So, you know, you would rather have an EO core, but you need this to keep him alive. And if you see there, this is probably Prime League hard. And he's healing back up again. So there's two uses. We can get three uses out of him. Set a beam laser out. Bit of a bug where fires backwards. And this is a big problem, guys, which I was hoping would happen in the stream. He gets stuck behind a wall. So your T's pathing whatever, and he is now stuck within a honeycomb, stuck behind a wall where you don't want him to go. And this is a big, this is what I said about thrust uh, and I keep calling it thrust, but because uh, we talk about a lot of Decepticons talk about thrust in the game. And just for a point, let's put Titan B on that. So we... There you go. Just for a point. Oh, it did actually, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you get the idea, guys. That. You know, strafe and thrust. That they have fundamental problems. It's not the damage they do. It's the lack of health and the fact he stays in the air. Like swoop. Why people struggle to use swoop in Prime League? Because he stays in the air. Thrust stays in the air and so dives into the air. He gets stuck behind walls. And you can't take that out with the bot. And I said this to Skylinks. So when 5 star Skylinks come out, everyone went, everyone said, oh 5 star Skylinks, yes! And so I said to people, well if you like Skylinks so much, why is he in your war team? And people were like, oh because he's pathing, his pathing's awful. Right, well, so why do you want the 5 star then? That's not going to change. And so if you ask people, why is Thrust not on your war team, is that good? Oh because he gets stuck behind walls and gets killed when he's in the area, in the air. That's not going to change the 5 star. He's got 15% extra damage and HP. That's not going to change. So I, again, I'll put this question to you. Why is Dinobot not in your war teams? Sentius is in a lot of war teams. Rook's in a lot of war teams. Even if it's a 4 star. So why is Dinobot not in your, four, in your war teams? And that's another reason. It's about pathing. Because once you use Dinobot's ability to pop an outpost, Dinobot runs off. And becomes a focal point. So it doesn't run off and stay behind his hollows. He goes in there with his hollows. Pops some outposts. So the outpost bots hit him with an ability. 
the, de the defenses hit him with abilities. And so he, he loses a lot of health very quickly. And your healers run off to go and heal him. If you do a walk team. And then as, if he dies, which he usually does, and it's just suicidal, your healers turn around and start healing the rest of your team. But all of a sudden, they're healing your team from where the defenses are. Your bots are down here. Dinobots have gone up there, maybe. Oh, he's gone over here. But all of a sudden, your healers are healing from a different direction and getting hit from defenses. And you lose your healers. So, Dinobot in a walk team is not very good. So, when people say, oh, Dinobot is better than Rook, yeah, well, it pops a bigger area. But you're going to lose Dinobot pretty much or lose your healers. It's not a good in a walk team. I'm, I've seen people go, yeah, but I use him, uh, you know, to sort of soak up damage. Well, I've done some sort of stats here. So, if you compare Dinobot to Rook. So, Dinobot has less DPS than Rook. But we don't use them for that. So, fair point. Uh, but he has 5k extra HP. That's brilliant. That's amazing. So, um, the HP of the minions. So, Rook's is 18k at max. It's Hollow's 18k. The uh, Hollow minions of Dinobot is 37k. So, a double, double the um, amount. But the problem is that Rook uses Hollow up there, say, and Rook is back here. Rack, Rook is safely with his team. Dinobot uses ability and charges off into danger. In terms of the DPS of the Hollows, so 350 for Dinobots, and Rook's has none. Uh, Dinobots last 15 seconds and then dies, and that's the big problem. Once his minions die, after 15 seconds, he's in trouble. And I said quite a while ago that... Oh no, I don't think they do, do they? No, I think they just die anyway. <laughs> I think so. No, I don't think they do last 15 seconds. 15 seconds, you go pack hunting, I think it is. And then he disengages. I think that's it, but yeah. Um, but then, so you can say, yeah, he is better than Rook in some other ways. And you could use him to... Um, you know, yeah, Calvin's put, they no longer die. Yeah, they used to, but they changed, I remember them. Yeah, yeah. So, you can say, well, I'm not going to use them to pop out posts. I'm going to use them to protect my team. I'm going to put Dinobot's hollows in front of my team to soak up damage. Great idea, because then Dinobot doesn't run too far off. So then, let's compare him to Blaster. Rook's not really used for that as much. You use Rook to pop out posts more. But Blaster is used for that. I wouldn't use Blaster to pop out posts as much. I use them to soak up damage. So... Blaster's minions have 460 DPS. So, 100 more than... Uh, sorry, Blaster has 100 DPS more. He has 33k health, so Dinobot has 4k more health. But once you add the minions into this factor, Dinobot's minions have 36k health. Blaster's has 66k health, his minions. The minions' DPS on Blaster is 1,300 DPS between the minions. Dinobots is 350. So, Blaster does a lot better job at soaking up damage than Dinobot does. Rook does a lot better popping outpost than Dinobot does. So, what are you going to use Dinobot for? We've got bots there that do a better job than him. Now, if you don't use healers, maybe it'd be pretty decent. Maybe. But, you know... Most people do, you know, but we've got, we've got better bots out already. And I suggested 50% healing for Dinobot. I said we need to up his healing. So that what will be good is, if Dinobot is in trouble, is at half health, you can go and use Dinobot. And for those 15, 20 seconds that the minions are there, he gets 50% extra healing, and his healing shoots through the roof. And that will, you know, make him heal to full health maybe again. That would be pretty good. You know, it's a playoff of, yeah, I'm going to use him ahead, but he's going to get a huge lot of healing. That's different than Blaster. That's different than Rook. But the apes said no to that, sadly. They thought he was good enough as he is. And, you know, that's... You know. I see people in the chat as well saying, in, a, in an outpost, Dinobot would be amazing. Yeah, I agree. Dinobot in an outpost is amazing. But he won't get near my war team. He really won't. And then we've got... SG Jetfire. So, SG Jetfire, in terms of <coughs> health and damage, is unrivaled. When you talk about other jets, so I use Jetfire a lot. 
and Jetfire's health is 15k, 764 DPS, and then you compare actually Jetfire is 10k extra health. So this guy is crazy, crazy good, but his cost is just too much. That's the difference. You can't get off more than one ability. So what I'm thinking is, do you use SG Jetfire and Jetfire at the same time? So launch SG Jetfire, let him take out something, let his hollows do their work, and then you can use Jetfire as well, and it'll protect Jetfire as well. But do you want two jets in your team? But I do like added health. I'm thinking a walk team with SG Jetfire in it, and with Red Alert in it, because if you look at Red Alert, his health is crazy. At 15, at level 59, he has 28k health. He has like 35k health. At max, that's crazy for a gunner and like 500 odd DPS. That's crazy good. So, a walk team with red alert and with SG Jetfire, they won't die. And I've, I've pulled red alert as a five star on my account. So, I won't be disappointed with SG Jetfire, but I'm not overly convinced. People said, Oh, you can one shot the MDS on hard mode against an MDS with uh, repair cores. He, he didn't quite do the business. And I can't remember if it's under a shield gen or not. I'll have to have a look. But he didn't quite do it because of the three shots and the time it took. And it's sort of a misconception that people have. So we've uh, got healing cores on the MDS. It's, it restores 3.7. This is only level 19 as well. It's not level 20. So we'll give it a go. So that protects him. I like these minions. I weren't too keen on when I first did it, but always took it out there actually. So I think it's under the shield gen, I think it is. Was the shield gen with it then? Let's have a look. And Jason Kenya's put he's done the same with the two. So yeah, got a bad idea. Where's that shield gen? So most people at the minute are putting the shield gen. Uh, on the uh, MDS. And that's what Penny Lancaster's put. He is expensive. That's the point. <laughs> Michael Cooper's put just a colour scheme, basically. <laughs> that's a bit short sighted, to be fair. It's a bit awful. I don't like the bot, just because of his colour. <laughs> Mind you, I don't like Hot Rod just because he killed Optimus. But that's a bit short sighted as well, I suppose, for the game. But hey, we all have our things, I suppose. Uh. SG Jetfire, let's have a go. Because I remember, I remember talking about this bot after playtesting and saying it's just a slight bit short. It might be this even. No. But 4 plus 5 is expensive. It really is. But I did it testing basically. It might be a level 20 core. I could try upgrading it and try that, but. <coughs> Maybe it was the last effect. I can't remember now, twenty guys. Was it a uh, armor core even? We can try that even. Yeah, the cost increments is the big one for me that I'm a bit unsure about. Let's just, uh, put this at max. Because obviously I tested this guy quite a lot when it came out. And uh, my feedback to the was that he was almost very good. But he came up a bit short. He's left a slit of a health. I can't remember if it was an armor core or a healing core. I thought it was healing core, but. Scrolly, scrolly, scrolly. Yeah, he didn't grind time. You're right, he didn't. And I can't remember if it was. We'll try an armor core. Was it that, I think? Is it a tech tree even? Maybe it's a tech tree, I don't know. I else put, am I still saving my four star crystals? I was, it depends. We'll see on Monday. We will see on Monday. It all depends who I pull, where I go, what I want. SG Jet Fire, let's go again. It might be actually ability damage for the air jets, maybe. Yeah, so it's armor core, yeah. So against an armor core, which is a one shot. The repair core isn't one shot either. Oh, that's because the. 
That's because of the shield gen, was I? Come on. Yeah, Calvary was slightly short. I don't know, but they didn't change his damage, so... Let's try again. I just remember thinking, this guy can one-shot an MDS. And testing it, and just being a slight bit short. I was like, no! No! Just slightly disappointed in him. And then also the cost went up and then down and up and down and people kicked off and it was joined the leaderboard and we know that story, that was ridiculous. Let's not go there again. What's SG Jetfire? Jetfire. Let's try again. Armor core. Repair core. Well, that's changed things. <laughs> if you can one shot the MDS, then that's pretty impressive. I wonder if it's the tech tree. I do want to find out now. I'm intrigued. Come on, Metroplex. I know you're big, but do you just take your time that quick? Nope, not into lab tech tree. Let's try again. Ah, that's why. I think when we tested, we weren't up to there yet. Air class ability damage. There you go, guys. It's air class ability damage makes SG Jetfire one shot the MDS. Interesting. Okay, next up, let's try six gum. So we've got one one shot in the uh, batch, but Gunners haven't had that ability increase uh, in. Uh, recent. So, can six gun one shot? And yes, that's a big one. I mean, I know we could do other things. We can do like you know, uh, beam lasers and everything. We know we can do. If we could do with one DS, you could do everything else. MDS is a big one. <laughs> Calvin's got a good point that the MDS has health increased. Well, oh, this tech tree is a nightmare. Six gun. MDS with armor. Both MDS took out. You heard it right. Both MDS took out. Both of them. So let's try this. Shield gen. Can I make hard again? So I wanted to touch on as well, but they said in the stream as well. So they have mentioned that to get the five star combiners, you're probably going to need all the pieces, all the five star bots. So the question is, does that affect where you're going to pull from now? That's a big question. Okay, let's try and one shot this MDS next to a shield gen. Oh, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to happen. It's asking a lot. Wow. Wow. Six gun, one shot an MDS with an armor core next to the shield gen. Can he one shot an MDS with repair core next to the shield gen? That's the big one. And if that's the case, we've got two guaranteed one shot bots in this batch. <coughs> Six good again. I'm going to do the left one this time. She's got a um, self repair core on it instead. Not quite. Not quite. Uh, agonizingly close. Agonizingly close. But that is still impressive, though. It's still impressive. Just to put a boost on there, put anything on there. Hell, put a combat ability on there. And that's going to be absolutely amazing. It really is. Really impressive six gun. But then the question is... So, 
What does the four star do? We've got the four star there. Same again. He's maxed out. Let's try the four star. So we've got the uh, we know. Listen, we know he's not going to take the, uh, the 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 regen because the five star can't. But can he take out the armor core next to a shield gen? Four star maxed out six gun. Very very close. And the difference there is a boost. That is the difference. You know, very, very close. So, is the five star, is five star six gun worth chasing? Yeah, probably is. Especially when, as we mentioned, that coming later is an MDS health increase in the tech tree. You know, these one shot bots are going to be really important. You can see there 4, 8, 12, 16, 20% extra health. You know, so these one shot bots, can they one shot? That's a big question, though, which we're going to be looking at in another video, guys. But, for the time being, SG Jetfire, 6 gun, our one shot boss. Maybe not connected to a shield gen, maybe you need to take it out first, but you get where I'm going. These are really good bot guys. Really good. And so, what I want to do is, I want to move on to this. So, obviously we did this video mid-week, and this is rating all the 5 star batches in the game. So the question is now, is where did we rate these guys? So, starting with Dinobot. So, yes, it's a great outpost bot. It's a good tank, but I don't like the way he runs ahead. I really don't. And when you're thinking about, you know, Warriors in the game, is he better than Impactor? No, I don't think so. Is he better than Laser Optimus? No, I don't think he is. Is he as good as Sludge, where situational? He probably is. So, personally, I'd, I'd put Dinobot in three. You know, in terms of being, you know, in terms of five-star batches, you know, same as Swoop. Swoop's pretty good, and small screen. I mean, you can sort of argue the case for these in four, but Laser Optimus is a four, and I rate Laser Optimus in an outpost and on attack over Dinobot. I do rate Impactor over him as well, and I haven't pulled Impactor, and I don't really want to pull Dinobot either. Minerva and Flatline, straight in number five. These guys... I'm not even showing them because I think everyone knows how good they are. Pick of the batch, they are the bots that you want, guys. Without a doubt. Strafe and Thrust. Just don't quite do it for me. They're quite poor. They get killed very easily in the air. They get tripped behind walls. There's so many sort of like, oh, is that there? That it makes them just too situational. You know, I put pipes down there for the same reason and Snarl and Prowl. That, and even Jazz. There's a lot of people that use these bots. But... They just don't quite cut it for me. Six gun, trigger happy. Definitely put in this four section. I love the fact they can one shot the MDS. That's a big selling point for me. But the big question is can they one shot the MDS when the new uh, perks come in? And same for SG Jetfire and Thundercracker for the simple reason of that extra health and that extra damage. So, you know, that matters a lot. That can be a big difference in a walk team. You know, that extra. 7k health, whatever it is, you know, and the good DPS, so that makes a big difference. And the fact he can one shot, yes, it's expensive, and that sort of plays it off. If it wasn't expensive, it'd be a five because he, he can one shot, he's cheap, and everything's good about him. You know, he's got protection in the air, what's not to like? If six gun was, you know, perfect in that sense, that you know, maybe it'd be a five, they can one shot, and, but I'm a bit unsold with him, I'm not 100%, but definitely four, without a doubt. So, you can see someone's put, yeah, Mark Cooper put Dinobot 3. Yeah, I kind of agree. So, adding it up, we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And where does that put us? So, in terms of other batches, this is probably joint third best batch in the game currently, in my opinion. I don't think you can get better than 8 and 7. I don't think we'll reach them sort of heights. There's not a bad batch, not a bad bot in them batch. 20, 21 is, we should be aiming for about 19, 20 in these batches. Where everyone is a 3 to 5. 
Ideally, everyone should be a four, and you've got 20. I think that's a good standing point, having a batch that's got, you know, bots that are 20. Four each, lead level four. Five, maybe a bit too much, maybe a bit overpowered. Four is about the, the niche where it should be. So you can see a lot of bots in three, quite a few in four, you know. And maybe Minerva and Flatline are a bit overpowered, maybe. Dinobot probably needs a bit of an increase, which I agree. And Thrust and, you know, Strafe still did quite a bit of work. And William Child has put, what about Pinpointer and Strafe to help with his healing and things like that? But then that stops him hitting, shooting over walls. I don't like Pinpointer for that reason. That then he, he shoots at walls. It's like Fire Dry. He, he walks around them rather than shooting over walls. And I don't like that. I like my bots to shoot over walls. I like to know the pathing of when I destroy that. The bots are going to walk around it after they destroyed it and not walk around walls trying to get to certain defences. I like my bots that all path the same. So, I don't like glitch in my team. I like glitch as it is, but not in my team. I like uh, pinpointing for the same reason, but not in my team. But I do like top shot. I do like flak because it has the same range. Even spoil sport. For that reason. Not a fan of top heavy for the same reason. It changes the range of your bots. I want all my gunners to stay together. That's the big one for me. So, yes, you know, some good choices in there, guys. So, I'd stay away again from Strafe and Thrust. I know a couple of people in the chat said they're looking forward to Strafe and Thrust. I'm not personally. That's the one that I want to avoid. If I pull two out of these out of Flatline and Minerva, if I pull Flatline and Minerva and one out of six gun and Trigger Happy, oh, well, well six gun and SG Jetfire because I'm, I'm an Autobot. If I could pull Minerva and one of these two, I'm done with this batch. I will never go back. I've got a one shot out of it, and I've got a healer out of it. And that's good enough for me. <coughs> so on Monday, we do our pulls. I've got four four star, four five star pulls. And we're going to pull definitely one or two. We're definitely going to pull two out of this batch. If I pull Dinobot and Thrust, or if I pull Dinobot and, Th and Strafe, then I'm going to keep going through the batch, because then I've got three good bots to pull from. The difference, the question is, if I pull two, where do we go from there? If I pull two and don't get thrust and strafe, that's a bit of a conundrum. There are other batches we can go to. We haven't got Warpath yet. We haven't got No. We haven't got Optimus. And these are the sort of bots I want to come back for. Maybe even Hot Rod. I can come back for him. Maybe RC. You can come back for RC. Impactor. These are the sort of bots that are in these top brackets that I haven't got yet. So, I think once we've got all these two brackets here, then we're sort of done, really. You know, it's really good. But, um, you know, we've got all this bracket here. We've got a couple there. We've got these two in the bracket there. Uh, we've got these two in the bracket. We've got uh, Wheeljack. So, you know, and we've sort of... I've got Prowl and Snarl, but we've avoided the rest of these down here on purpose, basically. You know, don't think you're wrong, though, guys. Don't get wrong, guys. We're going to revisit these again in a year's time, maybe. And we're going to keep these scores. And we're going to look back and say, you know, how has the game changed? Where they do these combos, these things might change. We don't want one shot bots. So, Six Gun and SG Jetfire might be long gone. And Jetfire as well. And, uh, you know, Seaspro is already powerful. We might see more of, you know, Brainstorm. We might see more of Snarl because it's an AoE. Even Jazz, even. Grimlock, even with ability 11. You know, even Ultra Magnus, maybe. These bots have got AoEs. We might see more of them. They might come into the forefront. But right now, this is sort of how I feel. So it's, you know, is it better than Batch 4? No, not really. But I don't know. Maybe you can put Prowl higher. Maybe put Dinobot higher. I don't know. But, you know. Grand Times, but maybe Grand Maybe uh, Ultra Magnus will become the best bot in the meta. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Brick Smolters put Dinobot still fun to play with. Yeah, but at the top level of the game, you're not really bothered about fun to play with. If we said about leveling bots, then this chart would be totally different. You know, some of these bots would be a lot higher. Especially like Goldfire would be a lot higher. Swoop would be higher. Skylakes would be higher. Southern Streak would be higher. You know, Slash would be number f in five. But, you know. But that's my take on the batch, guys, on the new five star batch. If you agree with it, then, you know. Again, put it in the comments. Uh, any you don't agree with, put it in the comments. Let me know. But, uh, yeah, that's my sort of take on it. It's a good batch. It's not awful. Uh, but it's not the best batch yet. Which, you know, we should be aspiring to that 20 out of twenty out of 25. That's what we should, we should be aspiring to. So it's a lot all good bots. We don't want these bots here. We don't want these in the batches. These are the bots that sort of need a buff. You know, we don't want these in there. These should be at least threes. 
It should only be threes and up. You know, so these bots are not going to gain this awful. I can make a use for it. You know, but that's how I sort of feel. I know it's about fault as Phil said. He said you were bored. Maybe you could uh, do a bit of fun. Well, yeah, uh, that's why I said I'm dropping out of Spy Psyops and going to a lower alliance. Just to try some new things out and just, uh, you know, take some time out and, you know, and, and chill. So, yeah, cool. Okay. Next up, we're doing our $30 gift card giveaway by monthly for our platinum members so a big thank you to our platinum members who obviously uh well big thank you to all our members that sort of support me uh but obviously our platinum members you know i give them sort of a tailored service where they can you know message me and say listen was what to think of this at any point and they can sort of book into me and a few people took uh you know advantage of that and we spent a good hour going through their bots and their war teams and things like that and going what to think of this and whatever else and they offer that service you know uh, specifically to my platinum members so I don't mind helping people here and there but if you're a platinum member I will literally take an hour or two out of my day and spend that time solely with you in discord or whatever or on Skype or whatever you feel comfortable with and we will literally go through all your your base your bots and I'll give you my thoughts and yeah that's something I offer for my uh, you know my platinum members and platinum members also get the chance to get a $30 gift card so a uh, big thank you to all my platinum members and a big thank you to all my members for supporting the channel don't forget, guys, if we can get up to, we dropped down to five members from six, and one sort of uh, brought the membership down. But if we can get to ten members, I've said I will up it to $50. So, you know, it's what? I think it's $9 a month. So, if you go in for, say, six months, you've got a good chance of getting your money back if you get to ten members. So, if you're toying on the idea and you want some serious help with your war team and your base, then become a platinum member and be in with a chance of winning maybe a $50 gift card eventually. That's the idea. But for now, it's a $30 gift card. And to give it a, a, a bit of a history, is uh, I think that most of my members over time have won this gift card. SG Soundwave actually won it twice. And SG Soundwave is actually not one of the people in this uh, draw. Uh, Chris Lewis has won it once before. Uh, I know that. I think Simon Hayes won it once. I think last time, maybe. Uh, but Grand Time has been a member since the beginning and has never won it. And I feel quite sorry for him considering how much he's tipped me and how much he helps me out and is a good friend of mine. But we've got to keep it fair, guys. We have, sadly. We can't sort of cheat. Um, so we've got to keep it fair. And you can see there, it's a random number generator. One to five. We're just going to press the generate button. And whatever number comes up next, that is who's going to win. So we've got Chris Lewis, a good friend of mine, at number one. Stay Puffed, another good friend of mine. Been in TF for a long, long time. Absolute beast. At number two, Atari, another really good friend of mine. Known for a long time. Um, is number three Simon Hayes number four and obviously my buddy Grand Time at five so one to five we're going to generate a code see who wins this $30 gift card good luck guys good luck and the winner is Stay Puffed <laughs> sorry Grind Time and Stay Puffed is the winner Congratulations, Stay Puffed. You have won the $30 gift card. So if you hit me up on Discord, uh, buddy, uh, I will uh, sort you out. And Grind Time misses out again. <laughs> I feel so sorry for Grind Time, honestly. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, hit me up on Discord, buddy. And we'll sort you out your gift card. But uh, <laughs> Grind Time's put the reaction in the stream. I'm sorry, buddy. I really am. Uh, but yeah, big thank you to everyone for tuning in today, guys. And uh, don't forget to uh, come and join me on Monday, where we'll be doing a humongous crystal opening. We've got 44 stars to open and four five-star crystals. So we've got a lot of crystals to open and a lot of Sunstreak Awards stash crystals to give away as well. So, if you want to come and join me in that fun, we might have some of the kids here as well, just to join it in, you know, a bit of retro. Uh, then, yeah, come and join me on Monday at the same time, and we will uh, see you then. But in the meantime, guys, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got any questions, hit me up in Discord. I'll try and answer them the best I can. Or come and join me next Monday. Uh, thank you, uh, Andrew Stoneham, for being a platinum member. Uh, and don't forget, guys, uh, you will be in with a $30 gift card uh, next time we do the draw. And if you need any help in the meantime, just hit me up in Discord and we can arrange a time 
to work it and uh, help you out. But yeah, big thank you to everyone uh, for tuning in. And uh, yeah, see you again on Monday, guys. And peace out, guys.